I think that people want to see a video on how and where you do Botox. Is that true? I think that's a great idea. So I'm Dr. Mitchell. Today we're going to talk about where I administer Botox and how much. We're talking areas like wrinkles on your forehead, your 11s, or for your jaw if you're a clencher or grinder. So come tag along. Guys, today's video we're gonna be showing you how to do Botox. <laughs> These girls laughed at me. Uh, so check out the supplies. You can see the previous video I made on how to mix Botox. Here's the supplies you'll need: some one mil syringes, three mil, twenty gauge, thirty gauge Botox, and your bacteriostatic saline. I already showed you guys how to mix it. The link is in below. We have a 100 unit vial Botox. We're gonna be doing Carmen's forehead today. It's gonna to be about 15 units total. So what I'm gonna do, since I have it mixed at three units per tenth of a milliliter, I am going to draw out five or 0 0.5 milliliters, and that'll give us our 15 units approximately. Oh, this is beautiful office manager Carmen. We're gonna be doing her forehead today. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and raise your, I always have them raise their eyebrows for me. Go ahead and raise their eyebrows so you can kind of follow the track where you see the, the wrinkles are going to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five sites. We're gonna do one right in the middle and then two on either side. And we're gonna go right across the middle in kind of a V-shaped pattern, injecting three units per site or 0 0.1 milliliters. So put your head back for me. Go ahead and raise your eyebrows up and relax. One more time and relax. And I'm watching this around, so I just do 0 0.1. Raise again and relax. Kind of in that V pattern I talked about. And you want to do it even on, either, on both sides. One thing to note is you want to watch out for these areas in pink, otherwise you can cause their eyebrow or eye to sag. So what it's going to leave are these little nodules on our forehead, but that's okay. You instruct the patient not to rub them in, not to sleep on their face tonight. This will take a week or two to set in. And this is how you eliminate wrinkles on the forehead. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll do a six injection site up top if somebody has a really tall forehead, uh, but Carmen's is very evenly proportioned for her face. Uh, now we're going to be doing some Botox for the masseter muscle. If you're having trouble grinding and clenching your teeth, Normally we do something like a night guard for this, but since she's going to be starting orthodontics soon, we're going to inject some Botox into her masseter muscles. We do about 25 units on each side. In the location you find, go ahead and put your head back for me. You feel bite down and squeeze. And you can really feel that masseter. We're going inferior posterior angle of the mandible. We're going to be doing 25 units on each side of the jaw. So I have my pre-drawn up Botox here. And what I'm gonna do is clean up the area with an alcohol swab first. Okay, and here we go. And you go all the way in. Do a full 25 units. Okay, that side is done. You doing okay? Yeah. Now we're gonna do the other side. It didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Go ahead and bite down and squeeze. And relax. Go all the way into the mandible. You want to get as deep as possible. And so this is going to take one to two weeks for it to completely set in. Okay? So give it some time. You're not going to feel anything for the first week or so, but it will really help with your grinding and punching. The weeks to come. Cool, it should last about four to six months. Okay. Cool? Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys, heads up this next one. We're doing the 11s while injecting. Amber does bleed quite a bit, so viewer discretion is advised. This is something that's normal that happens on the face because it is very vascular. So, what you do is you always have some gauze and some paper towels ready to kind of dab those areas when they do bleed. In this case, it came all the way down her face. Fair warning. Take note from it, learn from it. This is why I post these videos because not everything goes as planned. So take that with two cents so that when you do it, you're prepared. 
Okay, so now we're gonna be doing Botox on the 11s here with Amber. Hello. We're gonna be giving about 25 units. Again, five injection points similar to the wrinkles on the forehead, but this is going to address the 11s. Amber has really strong 11s, so we're gonna be doing about 10 to, probably about 15 units right in the middle, and then two smaller bits right here, about three to five units right here. So that's gonna get her to about 15 to 20 units. So come watch. Here, I'll give you this. Perfect. We're gonna do a stronger dose in the middle, but this okay. is just kind of special for you. Bring your, bring your eyebrows together and relax. And I kind of angled right at the start of the eyebrow right there. And then we stay inside of the pupil. Let me get you some bleeding a little bit here. A little bit of bleeding is normal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> grab oh wow. Paper towel. Yeah, you <laughs> And this is okay when this happens. Just kind of get it cleaned up a little bit. She might have a little bit of bruising right there, but that is all okay. And that's it, we're all done. Oh, perfect. Cool? All Pretty good. Easy. <laughs> that's it, a little bit of blood, but that's okay. It's expected with Botox. Uh, just have some gauze and some paper towels ready. So thanks guys. Yo, I want to thank Sean Steimer. He is the one that has motivated me to continue and start making these videos. If you are ever in the market to purchase a home in Arizona, he can help you out whether you want a $100,000 home or a $10 million home and up. Give him a ring or follow and see what he's up to. Thanks, Sean.